Hey everybody, look what I got. That's right, I got the Saima X21. This is a beginner drone. It's a nice beginning platform for RC aircraft. Now it's a little bit difficult to learn how to fly. So this isn't for your toddler or really small kid, but this is like for kids eight and up. A kind of a decent platform to start. At least we're gonna take a look at that and see how this applies for that. It's got altitude hold, a bunch of cool features that help make learning how to fly easier. But coming up next, we are gonna take a closer look. All right, we're gonna go over some basic features on this. One of the biggest for a beginning quadcopter or drone is having prop guards. That helps protect the life of the props as well as the life of the motors because if it's spinning and you smash into a wall, that's gonna A, do damage to the props, and B, that's gonna make that energy go down into the motors when it's spinning fast and then all of a sudden stops. That will cause a lot of damage. So just be aware of that and know that, and know that that is a good feature right there. As far as other things go, we've got lights right there, all four corners. We've got lights and we've got a nice bright light there in the front, that is good. In addition to the altitude hold, which we'll talk about a little bit more later, most likely when we're flying it. And down here, we've got our battery bay. And we've got a battery bay, or excuse me, we've got a battery right in here. This comes, this kit comes ready to fly. And I've got quite a few of these connectors, so I marked that. This is a USB charger. You can charge it into the same plug into your laptop, charge it into the same plug as your cell phone, all sorts of things. This has a connector that will work with this battery. And you can always order more batteries like this if you want to. That is cool. And coming up next, we... Actually, I'm going to show you how the battery cover... Boom. Closes nice and easy. All right, coming up next, we are going to go over the radio. All right, we're gonna go over some basic functions with this radio. As you can see right here, the throttle stick is right in the center. That means it has altitude hold, and that's helpful in maintaining altitude for a beginner, which is probably one of the most difficult parts for a beginner to learn how to fly RC quadcopters, drones, or really any RC aircraft, to be honest. So that is helpful with that. So you can control this stick and then the yaw, which is the spin left to right. And this controls it going that way or that way. And if you pull it back, it's that way or that way. So that is good information for people to have. And it's got two different flight modes. It's got a high rate and a low rate. So it starts off in the low rate. And if you want to switch into the high rate, you push this button down right here and it will make two beeps so that will get you in the high rate now in the indoor environment you don't want to do that unless you really know what you're doing and since this is for beginners you definitely don't want to do that now this also has an automatic takeoff and landing which is really helpful for beginners and so you just push that button and it takes off and goes to a safe altitude and then you can fly it and then you push it again and it will land nice and safely and gently has one other really cool feature I want to talk about, and that is flips. You don't want to do this right away. You want to actually get a, a feel for how to fly, which there is a bit of a learning curve, so be aware of that. So you push that button and move the stick, want either one of those four directions, and it will flip. Front flips, side flips, back flips, whatever flips, as long as you hit that button and move that stick quick enough, it will flip in that direction. All right. Coming up next, we are gonna fly this. All right guys, so here is the maiden flight. Turn the sticks on, give it a little throttle upwards. Oh yeah. Altitude hold is working great. Look at that, hands free guys. It is just holding steady. I'm not even doing anything directionally. Pull that back a little bit. Still, altitude hold is working awesome. We only have so much flight time on this battery, so let's get testing a couple things. Yaw is not bad. A beginner, you don't want to have too much yaw. This is in the first flight mode, by the way, so you don't want a ton of anything in the first mode. 
I'm going to give the folks a chance to adjust to it. All right, let's try it. Let's try to go into flight mode number two. All right, so we got two beeps. So, yeah, we're going to have a lot more control. And this is for when you get the basic hovering down. So you get into this. This will also help for when you're flying outside. You'll have more control to deal with wind, which is very, very important. All right, let's check the yaw. Maybe just a touch faster than the other one, in the first flight mode, rather. But not incredibly, incredibly fast, but that's okay. You don't really need that. This thing, it feels good, feels locked in. Feels like the gyros are doing what they need to do. And let's see what we're gonna do with our flips. Let's do, move away a little bit. All right, let's see what a flip does for us. Oh yeah, that's a nice tight flip. Let's try one towards the front. Yes, looking good. All right, let's try a back flip just for fun. Wow, I love this, guys. Look at that thing is doing great. Those lights are really bright. I'm not sure how they're looking through the camera, but they are nice and bright in person. All right, so let's switch it back into flight mode number one and see how the flips are in that mode because some of you will, are gonna wanna stay in there. Let's check the flips. Oh yeah, still nice, nice good flips in flight mode number one. Yep, no difference in flips really. I like flight mode number two, so let's get back into that. A little more fun. Alright. So let's set this thing down. Boom. And you can also just hold that thumbstick down when you land. And that will also shut off the props in addition to going in like that which turns the props on, and I'm gonna fly a little more. This thing is too much fun not to fly at least a little bit more. Oh yeah. Let me see if I can get us a nice close look at that bright light, let's see. There we go. Hopefully you got a nice look at that, guys. It's kind of tricky to keep my eye on the, the monitor, camera monitor, and this thing at the same time. But this thing is really easy to fly, and it will make a great, great first-time quadcopter. I'm just ripping around in here having fun. Okay. I'm just going to shut it down because I don't want to accidentally crash it before I can take it outside. All right, guys, we're going to do a quick little pros and cons here, and we're going to see if this is Uncle Ryan approved or not. And of course, I'm going to tell you right now, yes, this is definitely Uncle Ryan approved. It has prop guards, which I talked about earlier. They are very functional. I flew it a little bit more off camera. I wanted to test the automatic takeoff and landing. I realized that after I'd already kind of put away my camera, repositioned things, that I didn't do that yet. So yes, that does work. It works well. As do the prop guards, I bounced them off the headboard a little bit when I got a little crazy. So yes, that will definitely benefit a beginner. That is good. It flies super smooth and I had really nice control. As you saw, I got it really close to the camera. And looking through the camera monitor and flying it and trying to keep an eye on it, that's not an easy thing to do. And this made it fairly easy overall. It's got nice bright lights. It has nice little landing pads. I didn't talk about those earlier, but you can see those little rubber pads right there. That makes it so it increases durability, it absorbs a little shock if you land it like on, on pavement, a little bit harder than you, than you expect to. So that's good to know. And of course the altitude hold, you saw how well that worked. Incredibly stable with that altitude hold. Makes it so much easier 
on a beginner. If you're not worried about trying to keep it in the air, it's going to help you a lot. It really is. And like I, I, I said earlier, there is a learning curve with flying RC aircraft. And this thing is a great tool. It's not going to make it super easy because there is a learning curve. But this is a great tool to help you take a step in that direction. And like I said earlier, this is Uncle Ryan approved. It's awesome. There really aren't any cons for this. Now, if you're flying it outside and you really don't know what you're doing, it can get away from you because this is small. That is really the only potential con, but it is also a positive. It is also a positive because you can fly it indoors and that is huge. If you're able to fly it indoors, you can get some practice in a controlled environment. And that is not a bad thing. All right. Like, comment, and subscribe. And Uncle Ryan is signing off.